Hey everybody, I'm Jesse Showalter, and today I felt like making a little something something. How about you and me make it together? So today we're gonna be making a boarding pass slash ticket kind of app for like an airport or an airline. And I think that could be a lot of fun. It could be a fun concept. Here's what I think the concept will end up looking like. Pretty nice. Okay, with all that being said, I'm probably gonna cut this video up into a couple pieces and I'm gonna be using Sketch to build the interface. And so, whatever tool you're using, just go ahead and fire it up if you wanna follow along. I'll have the project files down in the description. Let's get started. Okay, when you download the project file, you will have exactly what I'm looking at on my screen, which is I've picked a color palette and I've pulled a couple resources. So um, just a simple little plane app and a world map. I feel like that's something we might use in this example. And um, I've taken the liberty already of using some of my color palette to build like a fun gradient. I always like to have gradient built out of the brand colors to kind of implement in fun and exciting ways. So that's what you'll get when you open up the project. Let's get started. I'm just gonna do a really quick wireframe of what I think, you know, where I think things are gonna go and then we'll kind of build on top of that. So, um, okay, I have my iPhone 7 canvas laid out in Sketch and I'm just gonna start drawing some rectangles. So, um, I'm thinking I'm gonna do like a really big fun header and inside of that header is probably where I will put my uh, map and like maybe a plane graphic. Maybe right there we could do like the map and then you could have like the little path of where the plane is gonna go to. Maybe that'd be kind of fun. Probably gonna do like some more information down here. Okay, so that's good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this and I'm just gonna duplicate it and put it down there and then I'm going to delete all of it up here, okay? Now we have a blank canvas and we have our wireframe down here we can look at for reference, okay? And what I like to do is, I like to do that because um, instead of having such clutter on the canvas as you're working, what I can do is in Sketch, when I have similar artboards like this, I can just grab the piece that I want and come up here and just paste it and it goes right into the place, like, you know, exactly where it should have gone on the other canvas. So that's really good. So here's what I'm thinking. Um, I'm thinking we're gonna make this our cool gradient. So let's just save this gradient and come into our shape and fill it with that gradient. Oh, look how nice that looks already. We're making an app, isn't that sweet? Okay, and then we have our gradient there. We wanted our map in, right? So we could do that. Let's just drag that in and let's mask that, okay? So look, we're bringing our map in. Yeah, we'll just do like a North American flight, okay? Uh, so we'll put that in right there. That is going to be kind of like our top area. So over here, why don't we just name this uh, background, okay? And I'm actually just gonna group it right off the bat again, and I'm gonna name this header, okay? So now we have like our, he our header with our background. I'm just gonna lock the background. Okay, so once I'm inside of here working, I can't really mess it up very much. Okay, um, next thing we need, we need that flight title, right? So I'm just gonna copy it from down there and paste it up here. Okay, so one thing we did not choose when we started the project was like a typography, like a font selection. So um, I'm obviously up here, I'm gonna make this white, but I don't wanna stick with Helvetica New, but we don't wanna go too far off. I want it to be probably like a sans serif, able to have a couple different weights, so like something that can be a little bit bulky so I can pair the same font and make it look kind of snazzy. Right off the bat, I'm kind of just thinking like Open Sans would be like a good one. So let's do this and we'll like, you know, to show you like Open Sans has like a lot of nice weights to it. So we have like bold, we have extra bold, you know, you have semi-bold, regular, and then you even have like this really light one, so maybe we could play with that. That would be kind of fun. We're gonna do this. I'm gonna do uh, your flight two, all right? I'm just gonna left align these so we don't get any funky stuff there. And then underneath it, I'm gonna put, um, I'm originally from the Bay Area, so let's do this. San Francisco, okay? And uh, now we're gonna have fun with the weights. Here's our first kind of like jump into pairing fonts. It's easiest when you pair the same type, just different weights and sizes. That can really bring out some really nice variation. So that's what we're gonna do here. We're gonna keep it simple. One type, one, one font across the entire app, okay? So we're just gonna do this one and make it bold. And then we'll do this one and we'll make it like regular 
but we'll we'll bring like the size of it like way down like that yeah maybe okay so we're kind of like dictating font size right now maybe I'll do regular like maybe I'll do semi bold right there and then maybe what I'll do is um, I'm just gonna like bring everything in here to uppercase that kind of gives it a cool look and I'm just gonna bring this line height right here okay um, to a, a good spot okay so we'll just do that okay look so far so good it's looking kind of cool okay um, we probably want a status bar in here so now we have a status bar inside like any app would and we'll just space things out accordingly okay great um, we have our status bar and we have our title in there. We're gonna drag them all into the header layer. So now this is one nice piece. Now we kind of, we've kind of dictated like the typography. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna grab that. I'm gonna come out here, I'm gonna paste it and just make it black so we can see. And then I can kind of reference back to this. I'm gonna just grab this and drag it down below. I think we should probably introduce a new style. So um, let's do origin right here. And I think we're gonna move away from semi bold and go to regular there. So I'm just gonna do like a headline up above it that tells you what the tag is that you're looking at. And then down below, I'll actually do the origin. So I'm gonna do like Honolulu, okay, because that's where I'm coming from. And I'll push that up to like 20. And I'm gonna take the line heights and just delete them so we get really nice, crisp boxes to lock up onto, okay? So I'm gonna group that and I'm gonna call that a tag. I'm gonna take that origin and I'm gonna drag it over here. Let's do the matching one. So now we have the flight to San Francisco and we have the origin and we have the destination. So far, so good. We're looking pretty good. And we haven't even used any of our accent colors or anything like that. Um, it's really like fairly monochromatic. It's time to use that accent color. We'll just kind of zoom in. And I think we're gonna put, like we said, we'll put that little um, pathway of where the plane is gonna travel. So I'm gonna go into my background. Got like a little bit of depth, okay? We could probably toy with it and make sure that it's all right later. That's something we'll come back and we will mess with and play with probably as the project goes on. Um, okay, but I like this header for the most part. So I'm just gonna make sure that all of those things are in the header and you can see it's right there. And now I'm just gonna lock the header and we have the top portion of our app, okay? I like it, I like it a lot. Um, okay, so we kind of had, let's look at our wireframe again. Where, where are we going next? We're going to this card. So we have this card. It's gonna have the passenger information on it, all of those details on it. Um, and I kind of like the idea, like you can see here, of making it kind of like, you know, cut in a little bit so it looks like it's a ticket. That's the kind of look I'm going for. So I'm just gonna grab this and come up here and I'm gonna paste it into place. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna grab the actual artboard, paste it into place. So we're at a good stopping point right now. We finished building out all the information we needed to within that ticket area. And we actually had to drop some of the size of the typography to make sure we kept things legible and, and really easy and, and spaced out. Um, but we are going to move on to part two uh, in this video where we kind of add some more of the 3D elements. We finish up that ticketing portion at the bottom. And then we're gonna do a quick critique of the design decisions that were made and uh, figure out if we could have done anything better since we're doing this so fast. So hope to see you guys in the next video. Stick around for part two.